This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and in this video and the next few videos, we're going to be working on our level select system. So basically from our main menu, we're going to be able to choose what level we want to go to, rather than always having to start at level zero. Um, this first one, we're just going to do some scene setup work, should be pretty quick. So first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to start in our main menu scene, and we're actually going to go to our scene in the project here, and we're going to duplicate it. Um, we're just gonna, I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna hit uh, Control and D on the Windows, um, I believe it's Command D on Mac to duplicate it, and I'm just gonna rename this to be um, Level Select Menu. Now, we're gonna be kind of changing up the number of scenes we have now, and that means that our scene loader needs to reflect this. So I'm gonna jump into our scripts and go over to our scene loader script, and I'm quickly going to add to our um, enums here, I want to add this level select scene. Now this is kind of our main loop, and I don't really want to mess with it, and also just in case there's anywhere that I am still referencing these by their integer values, 0, 1, and 2, I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to simply add to the end here, I'm going to add a new enum, and I'm going to call this menu level select. And I'm starting this with menu rather than putting it at the end so that when these come up in alphabetical order in when we're um, doing our code, the menus will be together so we know that they are kind of grouped together. So we'll save that quickly. And I do also want to make sure now, I'm going to jump back to the inspector. We're going to go over to build settings and we're going to want to add that um, level select scene to the end here as well, making sure that we maintain that this order is the same as this order here so that our scene loader will always work properly. So in order to do that, I need to jump to my assets, move this over, my level select, and drag that in, and you see that appears at the end right where we want it. So with that, our scene um, hierarchy is at least proper. So we do want to do a little bit of a change in our main menu scene, and then what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to our start button here, and I'm going to make a duplicate of that. So again, control D, and I'm going to rename this to level select button. And I'm going to change the text of this from start game to choose level. And I'm going to move this entire button down on the Y position. About 45, I think, looks pretty good. Or sorry, negative 45, so that it appears below the uh, start game button. Now, last thing we need to do is we actually do need to jump into our main menu UI script because we don't have a function for when this button gets pressed. And it's going to be easy enough to do. I'm actually just going to copy our start button pressed and paste it here. And we're going to say um, the level select button pressed. And instead of going right to our game level, we're going to go to that menu level select. And that's all that this takes here. We just now need to make sure that that's tied to our button as well. So our level select button, we will go down to our on click event that we have here. And instead of going to main menu UI start button pressed, we're going to use that level select button pressed. So now this will, whenever we click that button, it'll bring us over to that scene. So I'm going to quickly save that. And we're actually all done with the main menu scene. Now we can jump into that level select scene that we just created. So I'm going to double click on that, open it up. We see we have what looks like just our reverted um, main menu scene because that's what we're starting with here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the name of the UI here from main menu UI to level select UI, just so that we can kind of at a glance see that we're working in a different um, scene here. Inside of here, our title we're going to change. I'm going to change this from simple game now to choose a level, kind of give the player a prompt of what they're doing here. And our start button, we're going to keep this, but it's no longer going to be a start button for us. Now this is going to be what brings us back to the main menu. So I'm going to change this to a back button, and I'm actually going to change the text on it as well in that child component, and we're going to call this um, just back. Lastly, I am going to move this down. Um, I'm going to position this one down quite a ways here. Let's um, put it at something like negative 200. Eh, we'll say negative 180. Um, 
so that's just down at the very bottom of the screen and that but you always have this way to go back now right now we're still using our main menu UI functionality in here and we don't want that we want to create a new um, a new script that will control what happens in the level select menu rather than kind of combining it into the main menu. So I'm actually gonna remove this component altogether from our level select UI. We're gonna remove that main menu UI component. And instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into scripts and create a new folder. And I'm gonna call this level select menu. Open that up. And we're gonna create a C sharp script and I'm gonna call this level select UI. Now I will add this to our level select UI canvas object. So now we've got that there and I'm going to open this up in mono develop as well. In here, what I really want is similar to the main menu UI in that we have the start button pressed and level select button pressed, but instead in this case what I want to do is go back to the main menu. So I'm going to copy this method again. I'm going to delete the start and update functions and paste in that start button pressed, but I'm going to change this to back button pressed. And then I'm simply going to change the destination. Instead of going to the game level, we're going to go back to the main menu. I'll save this here. And we simply now need to make sure that our back button now we see that this is missing because this was referencing that main menu object which no longer exists. So instead I want to redrag the level select UI onto here and then go level select UI back button pressed. So now this button knows that whenever we click it we want to go back to the main menu. And with that we now have a functioning loop of going back and forth between our main menu and this level selection screen. Obviously we don't have that functionality yet but we can see that this works. We can hit play, go back, we go to our main menu. If I click choose level, we go back to the level select screen and back and forth. So this gives us really the structure of now how we're gonna be able to navigate between menus before we enter the main game. And in our next video, we're actually gonna set this up where we start creating some buttons and populating them in here that we can click on and choose which level we want to actually play at any given time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.